What's Gucci everyone, it's AJ here again, and today I'm gonna make a tutorial on something that kind of matches up with mutexes, it's called semaphores. And this is another video in my intro to systems playlist. So semaphores com can provide a add-on to mutexes. And what semaphores do is I have this nice P PDF here that I've been making that I I'm planning to open source and release the public soon, but as you can see here, I have that a semaphore is a variable or abstract data type that is used for controlling areas to multiple threads or processes. A semaphore provides a, provides a great way to ensure mutually exclusive access to shared variables. Please excuse the spelling mistakes. A semaphore that is used to protect against shared variables is called a binary semaphore because its value is zero or one. Now, so what a, a semaphore allows you to do is it basically it allows you to allow only a set number of threads set number of threads to in a mutex when you have a lock you can only allow one thread through with a semaphore you can add you can maybe let 10 threads through or a set number so one thing i want you to think of with a semaphore is you want to think of semaphores as a bouncer at a nightclub there are a dedicated number of people that allow in the nightclub. It also, will get too crowded, and then you know, um, bit, uh, service won't be too good in the nightclub. If the club is too full, no one is allowed to enter. But as soon as one person leaves, as soon as one thread is done or out of that section, then another person may enter the club because you need it to be full enough to have a nice party, and so it's social. And that's the way I like to think about it, at least. So now we're gonna. Sh I'm gonna show you guys the methods of the semaphore. So the two main methods you have are sem post and sem wait. And basically what sem post and sem wait do are, they're described right here. Sem wait decrements the value of the semaphore by one and it waits if the value is negative. So what wait does is, is it checks how many people in the club or how many threads have gone through this semaphore and lets, and lets the thread currently at this wait go through if there's a positive number, but there's a negative number, it stops that thread until, you know, some, so, uh, until the post method is called. You call the post method on the semaphores when you're done with that semaphore, when that thread is done, or at the end of, you know, its shared logic. And so, remember that threads and semaphores, mutexes, are a lot, or the whole point of them is to conserve sharing data, to protect global variables. And so SemPost will increment the value count. So it increments, you know, the number of people in the club from one to two, or the number of people allowed in the club or allowed inside the semaphore area from one to two because that semaphore is done. It's hit the post method. So the post marks that marks that you're done with the thread, and wait marks that you're starting. You know, the critical section, as it's called. And so this is an example of quick code right here. So you need to declare your semaphore with sem underscore t. This is an example in C code. And then you want to have your sem init right here. And usually, you know, you want, you want to give it the address of your semaphore, which should be a pointer. And then you always want to give it zero, but then you want to give it x. And x is at um, zero. I'm not going to go over the second parameter, but it's basically something special you don't need to worry about. But x is essentially um, how many threads you're going to allow through. So it can be anything. It can be 1, 100, you know, 200, or 3. Um, also note, you can initialize the number of threads, the number of threads allowed into the club or allowed into the semaphore pool, you can initialize it to 0. And the reason because you may want to initialize it to 0 is because when you, you may want to start up your semaphore, but you may want to not allow anything into that critical section until maybe another thread has posted, has um, posted and added up your one section. So you may make all these semaphores here and then all these threads may go to wait, but some init may be set to zero and then you may have another part of code that's running, that's gonna run a sem post on this semaphore and then it's gonna allow all these threads through. So you can start it at zero, which is um, an interesting and it's something to think about if you do run into that situation. Well, that's all for semaphores right now. Tomorrow, I will show a code example or more in-depth example of how to use semaphores. I hope you guys have a great day.